right, guys, we're back. I'm just trying to survive this wind. All right, so I know you're all like, who cares? It's snowing where we live. All right, but what uh, I want, what people like to do a side pass. They like to get the dog going sideways. And I'm going to tell you, this is the only dog I have that's like, well, not to, I guess Marie does it a little bit. But it is fairly easy to get one to go this way. Just because they're moving in your direction. To get them to go that way is a little bit harder because they're going, they're having to move away from you. So the way I taught this dog, I made it seem like there was forward motion in the beginning. So I'm going forward. I don't know if I'm in the shot, but there's implied. Well, there's implied forward motion. So, and I am going forward a little bit in the beginning. So that's what I'm doing. He's cueing off this foot and this hand. But I'm stepping forward. And then, once you've got him doing that, then you can just go sideways by virtue of lifting up this leg. And he'll go every direction. And you need that with a great big dog like this. I can push him back. I can sit. I can go this way. I can go this way. Go this way. I can go this way. But I'm keeping my body language very collected. If you said it looks like he would like to try to bully and overpower you. Hi, Lisa. Oh, this is Melvin's brother. I hope Melvin isn't like him. I know he's probably more better behaved. This one tries to kind of bully me and take the treat. But I don't think Melvin's as big as this one. Anyway, please let me know what's going on with the baby and all that. And I'm sure Melvin will be absolutely perfect with the baby. Heel. That's what I'm just thinking though. I can drive this thing. And if I want, if I want to make it less, I, I can just pick my foot up. And then he's understanding. And if you said why, because he understands this leg moves this way. This leg moves this way. Anyway, Lisa, I don't know if you guys are coming out. I need you guys to come see me. You need to come visit me. Take me to sushi. I haven't been to sushi in forever. I don't know if you guys are coming down to Orlando this year. But uh, please put me on the... Um, please put me on the schedule. Let's go. Or we can either go to get sushi or there's this other place I go now, Norwoods. Oh, you guys would love this place. It's absolutely perfect. Yeah, this isn't the one. I just got this one out real quick. Oh, he's a monster. Oh, let me get my gumbo. has a trained retreat. If you said what's the difference, fetch. I've got that ability and that's my pager. Fetch. I could keep doing that. Fetch. And he'd probably do it if it was a shaped retreat, but if he refused, dude, you don't have any choice. Alright, so hang on. Melvin to do this in one day. She can do the shape for a trait. We'll teach him to pick stuff up. Pick up the baby's toys and stuff. Uh, so you might have to back. You know, but the if there's any intention of the dog not bringing it back, then you've got a problem. So, 
Uh, tell Amanda that, though. I'm pretty sure she could get him doing it in one day. We talk about you guys on the show, too. You're the uh, mom that raised the fierce daughters that they all need to be more like. Anyway, Deb, I'll be right back with uh, the other brother, or the Kanga, or uh, Colby's brother.